Tentacruel is a Pokemon that got introduced all the way back in Generation 1. Tentacruel is actually a special case, as it's the first Pokemon in this niche roll series that has actually been a pretty good Pokemon in competitive singles over the generations, usually finding itself in the UU tier and it had its moments in the OU tier as well. While overall Tentacruel is not the best option around, it actually managed to find itself a small niche in the tier with the strongest Pokemon and overpowered legendaries, this being the Gen 4 Uber tier. Tentacruel is also the first Pokemon in this series that has a niche in Gen 4, Gen 5 and Gen 6 Ubers, and these niches actually differ from, ge from generation to generation. But there is a quite a lot to cover there, so Gen 5 and Gen 6 are gonna have to wait. But what is Tentacruel's niche in Gen 4 Ubers? Tentacruel's stats are not particularly amazing. It does have a great special defense stat at 120 base and 100 base speed stat, but its offenses and physical bulk are lacking. Its abilities are kind of whatever, they're not great, but not bad either. That being said, Tentacruel's defensive typing in combination with its high special defense and speed and great utility moves gave a niche in the gen for uber steer. Tentacle could be used as a valuable lead as it is one of the few pokemon that can set up toxic spikes. Toxic spikes are very good in gen for ubers as there are many grounded threats like Kyogre, Groudon and Palkia that don't like getting chipped down by poison damage. Tentacle's great speed tier allows it to set up toxic spikes on nearly any lead as it can outspeed leads like Tyranitar and Giratina Origin. Its high special defense allows Tentacruel to take on special hits like Life Orb Rayquaza, Draco Meteor and Shaman Sky's Seed Flare. Tentacruel also offers Hassan Control with its poison typing being able to remove opposing toxic spikes and it can remove spice and stealth rock with rapid spin. This is important as poison types are hard to come by in a gen for oversteer and Rapid Spin is the only way to remove hazards as before generation 6, Defog only removed hazards from the opponent's side and not your own. This gives it a good matchup against Deoxys P2, which is the king of leads in gen for Ubers, as Tentacool can spin away any hazard that Deoxys might set up. Tentacool can use Icy Wind 2 to lower the speed stat of any Pokemon that might use it as setup fodder like Rayquaza and Garchomp. Hydro Pump is its strongest step move and allows it to threaten leads like Tyranitar, Scizor and Fortress. While Tentacruel commonly uses a Focus Sash, it could opt to use a Lumberry too to prevent Darkrai, which is also a very common lead, from sleeping it with Dark Void, but Focus Sash is there to prevent it from getting one hit KO'd by Earthquake from Pokemon like Rayquaza and Groudon. Ice Beam could be used as a niche option over Icy Wind when investing more in special attack to 3 hit KO certain variants of Giratina Origin and 1 hit KO Naive Rayquaza and Shaman Sky. While not the greatest ability, Clear Body actually has a use too, as it prevents Tentacruel from getting its speed dropped by Lead Frostless with Icy Wind. Liquid Ooze can also be used to wall Jump Love, which is coincidentally a niche option that I made a video about yesterday. Knockoff can be used over Icy Wind to catch opponents off guard by knocking off key items, but makes Tentacruel more passive over the long run. The same goes for Toxic, which is another niche option to cripple Pokemon like Giratina Origin, which is otherwise immune to Toxic Spikes, but leaves Tentacruel more passive too. A very gimmicky niche move is Mimic, to potentially allow Tentacruel to also set up Spikes or Stealth Rock by copying an opposing Hazard Lead using the move. By the way, I know a lot of you are curious about arguably the best niche Pokemon in Gen 4 Ubers, as I have seen quite some comments about it. The Pokemon Rose Panther. Now, if you want to learn the niche of Rose Panther in Gen 4 Ubers, it is vital that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you. Outside of Elite, Tentacruel has very little purpose. Its special attack is too low to be an offensive threat and it faces heavy competition from Fortress which is more durable in the long game and has also has rapid spin. Tentacruel is also susceptible to common 
Giratina Origin, which blocks rapid spin and can force it out with coverage like Earthquake, Thunder and Outrage. Tentacruel is also susceptible to Psycho Boost Deoxy Speed Leads and Mewtwo as they can use Taunt and nearly one it KO it. Frostless can use Taunt as well and set up spikes on it for free, while Pokemon like Kabutops, Fortress and Quillfish can remove toxic spikes, limiting Tentacruel's value. Overall, Tentacruel is a niche toxic spike setter that can be used as a lead and it can remove hazards from opposing leads, but outside of that, it's not that good. Let me know in the comments what you think of Tentacruel's niche in Gen 4 Ubers and check out my video on Jump Plus niche in Gen 4 Ubers and the playlist if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.